Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about how to copy music in Dorico in order to speed up note input. Often when inputting music, you may find that some of the music you're entering is an exact copy of something that has gone before, or perhaps very similar. In these cases, rather than inputting the music again from scratch, it can be quicker to copy and adapt from some existing music. At the rudimentary end of the scale, Dorico supports the cut, copy and paste commands you'll be familiar with from other software. These commands can be found in the Edit menu, the Music View Context menu, which can be summoned by right-clicking an empty part of the page, or by using the well-established key commands Control x C and V, and that's Command on Mac. If you select a paste region that is longer than the music you have copied, Dorico will repeat the copied material until the paste region is filled. This also applies vertically across selected staves. There are some other ways to copy music. With an active selection, Alt-click a staff to copy the music to that rhythmic position. This can be anything from a single note to a range of notes and other music items spanning several staves, and the paste does not need to occur at the same position in the bar to the original. You can also type R to repeat everything in your selection immediately following the original. And similarly, this works for multiple item types across multiple staves. There's a powerful paste special menu, which has some commands such as explode and reduce that I shall discuss separately in a tutorial about editing and arranging music. Users of Dorico Pro will find a submenu that allows the pasting of your copied music into a specific voice, including creating a new voice specially for the occasion. And there is also a command for pasting articulations, meaning you can copy a passage and paste articulations to similar music on other staves. This can also be particularly useful for ostinato and such like passages. Copy the notes that contain the initial pattern of articulations, then select as many bars of music as you need and paste articulations. Dorico can even cope if the pattern of notes is not entirely uniform. There are also some useful commands for copying notes to other staves, which are sort of the culmination of a series of commands about notes on adjacent staves. It all starts with the key commands N and M for crossing notes to the staff above or below for multi-staff instruments. This then extends to Alt plus N or M to move the selected notes to the staff above or below, which can be to any pitched instrument. And that brings us to these commands for duplicating notes to the staff above or below, to which you can assign your own key commands if they are operations you will use frequently. I suggest using some combination of modifier keys with N and M to keep it consistent. It's also easy to summon these commands with the jump bar. The paste location for copied notes does not need to match in terms of time signature or key signature. Dorico simply rewrites the music in order to fit the destination meter and tonality. This means it is no problem copying music from another flow in the same project, or indeed music from a different project altogether. If you have a passage of music that echoes the rhythms of an existing section, you can use one of the methods we've discussed here to make a copy and then enable lock duration to input different pitches. I've made a separate video all about lock duration that I recommend viewing. And that's copying music in Dorico. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.